What's going on guys? Matthew Minis here. Welcome back to the channel. We talk a lot about credit cards, but today we're gonna talk about one card to rule them all. Now this credit card is what I consider to be the best single credit card when used alone and not in conjunction with any others. I think for anyone that doesn't have the time to get into credit card churning or is new to making money off credit cards, this card is the perfect option. All you gotta do with the Wells Fargo Active Cash Card is spend money, pay your bills, and you're gonna get paid for free. It's as easy as that. Now, if you're new to the channel, you work hard for your money, and you want your money to go further on a daily basis, make sure you smash the like button down below, subscribe to the channel. We do weekly videos on anything finance related. Now, in this video, we're gonna go over all the perks of the Active Cash Card. I'm gonna go over one thing specifically that you can use as a tool to really benefit you, but you gotta be careful, and it may be somewhat controversial. And then last, I'll go over some of the cons of the card, but to be honest, there's not many. So one last thing before we get into the video is we have to go over the two golden rules of credit. With any credit card, it doesn't matter which one, you have to do the following. You always have to pay your bills in full and you need to not spend money that you wouldn't normally already be spending. In order to get the most rewards and the most free money out of credit cards, you have to do those things. As soon as you start paying interest or just wasting money, then you're losing the value of credit card rewards. Except that secret tip I told you about we're actually gonna break one of these rules. It's gonna be awesome. So let's get into the video. So the Wells Fargo Active Cash Card, who's it for? It's for anybody that doesn't have the time or, or wanna bother with revolving categories or travel portals, converting rewards, taking 20 different steps to make your money go further. That's not for everyone and I understand that. This card is for someone like my wife. My wife and I were driving the other day and I was like, hey, how, how many points do you have on your, on your Chase account? And she's just like, I don't know, cause, cause she never looks. So she pulls it up and she had over $700 in rewards. I'm like, babe, you got $700 that you're just sitting here not using. She's just like, eh. She's the type of person that needs a credit card like this where there's, not, there's nothing involved, there's no extras. It's just you pay and then you get paid. That's what this card is. So the first, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is 2% cash back on every purchase you make. Now you should already know if you're watching this video that you should not pay cash for anything unless they're giving you some massive discount like a contractor or something. For an example, I just saved 10% this week by paying a contractor to fix my garage door. If I paid him in cash, he would give me 10% off, so that was a no brainer. But for every other purchase, you spend a dollar, you're getting two pennies back. You spend a hundred bucks paying your internet bill, you're getting two dollars back. Doesn't seem like much, but it adds up really fast. Food alone, especially in America today, it just keeps going up more and more. So you know what that means? You're still gonna have to buy food, it doesn't matter. But you can make more money by using this card. Now real quick, I am not sponsored by this card. I get no benefit out of this. I just think it's a great card and my whole goal with the channel is to provide value to you guys. The next great thing about this credit card is a sign up bonus. They actually have a $200 sign up bonus if you spend $1,000 in the first three months. Now for pretty much everybody, you can probably hit $1,000 in three months without spending any extra money. It, just groceries alone will probably be up to around that amount. So basically, just by getting the card, you get 200 bucks for free, and then you're also getting the 2% cash back. Now on top of that, the return on investment is infinite because there is no annual fee. A lot of times the best credit cards have an annual fee, like the Chase Sapphire Preferred, awesome card, but it costs you $95 a year to have. This card does not cost you anything. You just use it and you get paid. Now there are some other perks, just like cell phone protection, if you pay your monthly bill, but I'm not gonna get into all those. The point I wanna make about this card, it's as plain as it gets. You don't need the bells, you don't need the whistles, it's not flashy, it's definitely not made out of metal, which I consider a con, because. I like the metal credit cards. This card you just use and you get paid. You can redeem for statement credits or for cash back into your account. Although you do have to be aware that for the cash back in your account, it's in increments of $20 and it starts at 25. So in order to actually get a redemption, you'd have to spend $1,250, not including the $200 bonus sign up. Now, if you're looking to get this credit card, you don't need a crazy high credit score. Generally, anything 670 or higher will get you this card. So as you can see by the perks that I've gone over, this is a very simple card that has an extremely high rate of return. There are other credit cards like the Active Cash. For instance, Citi has one. However, with that card, the only way you get the points is when you spend the money, you get half, and then when you pay it off, you get the other half. Now, technically, if you follow the golden rule, doesn't matter because you're paying the bill off as soon as you get it anyways, but that's still something that's just unnecessary. Now, I wanna go into the next benefit of this card, and this one may not apply to everybody, but it is something you could do that's kinda of cool. So you get a 0% intro APR offer for the first 15 months. And this also does apply to balance transfers as well, but there is a fee 
for any balance transfers. Now, in certain situations, this can be a really good thing. Now, if you have an extremely high interest credit card with debt on it, and your goal is to pay it off in 12 months, and that one has 25%, you can transfer that over for a 3% fee, and over the next 12 months, pay zero interest. You can save yourself a lot of money depending on how much debt you actually have. So that is a tool you can use. Another thing that I like is just the 0% purchase APR. 99% of the time, you should always pay your credit card bill in full. However, if you would normally go get a personal loan for something, I personally wouldn't do this, but you know, everyone's situation is different. Maybe you really wanna get a new TV on Black Friday and you've been saving $100 a month for the past year. You've got 1200 bucks and the TV you want is on sale for $1,800. Normally, you wouldn't wanna go into credit card debt, but instead, because you have 0% interest APR, you can buy that TV and over the next three months, continue to contribute to your savings and then pay it off. Now you still do need to meet the minimum payment, which is usually $25, but you essentially got money for free and you didn't have to pay that interest. So maybe something happens in your house, you need a new furnace, you need a new refrigerator and you don't have that emergency fund right there. Not saying that this is the best idea, but if you're good with your money and you know you're gonna have money in the future, and then there's absolutely no reason you wouldn't take advantage of a 0% interest loan. Just remember, it's only for 15 months. Now you can already tell that I love this card. However, there are some downsides. The worst thing about this card is that it's flimsy. I already said it before, I love the metal cards. It sounds silly, but I don't know. It just makes me happy, so I guess I'm hard to please. That's probably not the worst thing about it. The worst thing about it is that it doesn't have other benefits. So for someone that's really into turning credit cards and really taking advantage of categories, sometimes you have quarterly rewards for 5% cash back or 6% cash back, or even with the Chase Freedom Flex, you can get 10% cash back at certain times. This card doesn't have that. But what comes with that is ease of use, as I already mentioned. So, so yes, it's a con, but at the same time, it also saves the user time and time is money. Now the last drawback of this card, and this one is kind of a big issue, is that there are foreign transaction fees. There are better credit cards out there that do not have foreign transaction fees. And if you plan on going international, then obviously do not use this card. There's the Chase Sapphire Preferred, Capital One Quicksilver. There's all sorts of other cards you can take advantage of if you're taking a trip to Italy, which I wish I was doing. So to sum it all up, today's video was just for those people that aren't into credit card churning, but they wanna get their foot in the door. You know, they wanna start earning cash back, they're tired of paying cash, they're still using their debit card, they're locked in the 1950s and they just don't understand the power of credit. For those people, this card is for you. And with that, if you're still watching the video, make sure you leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, guys.